Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you all my mother-in-law's recipe for a plum amchar. It's a plum that's soaked in a mustard oil and it's very spicy and delicious. So stay tuned, let me share with you guys how to make this recipe. So to make this uh, anchar plum, what I did was I washed the plum and I scored the plums. So I made little cuts along the outside of the plum. Now I'm using the Jamaican plum here, but the local Trini plum, that's the plum we would regularly use. But if you can't find that, of course you can use this. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And once it comes up to a boil, we'll need to drain that water out before we continue with the next step. So the plum has come up to a boil. I'm going to allow it to boil for three minutes and then I'll remove it and drain the water. So to the same pot, I'm just gonna go in with some mustard oil and you do need mustard oil for this because the mustard oil acts as a preservative. So I'm going to go in with some mustard oil I'm going in with one hot pepper chopped and two tablespoons of minced garlic. I just want to saute that in here. Now you want to do this over a low heat because you don't want it to burn. I'm going to return the boiled plum to the pot. And to that I'm going to go in with some salt because we didn't boil it with any salt so now we need to add salt to this and add salt or add the amount of salt you would eat please I'm going in with a little bit of brown sugar which is totally optional and then I'm going to go in with some anchara masala and some jeera powder or roasted cumin powder and the complete list of measurements will be found down in the description box and all you have to do is mix and allow this to cook in here for about five minutes now after five minutes of cooking this is finished all you have to do is put it allow it to cool down properly before you can bottle it so you can serve it as is or you can bottle it and keep it that mustard oil is going to help preserve this it can go out into the sun because usually what we do is when we make these anchars we put them out into the sun for it to cure and then you can store it in your cupboard or you can store it in your refrigerator so i'm just going to empty this out into a bowl so you guys can see what the finished product looks like so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it and comment down below and let me know what you think. If you wanted to make this with sour cherry or mango or pumpsy tea, feel free to. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe everyone.